Guys, to say I'm next to one of the most beautiful waterfalls in Thailand is nothing short of a miracle. Listen, alcohol systematically destroyed every single area of my life. And now I'm actually living my dream. My name's Leon and this is my alcohol transformation story. Now, if you had met me 487 days ago, you would not have recognized me. My life had spiraled out of control yet again due to alcohol. I had hit what they call rock bottom. See guys, the thing is, I don't drink like a normal person. Every single time I drink, I take myself into oblivion. I get totally blackout drunk. Sometimes I feel as though I've been at war with alcohol my entire adult life. I've been riding this roller coaster for about 10 years. I'd have some periods of sobriety and other periods where I'd be going out, you know, six, seven nights a week. Now, unlike most people, I don't have an off button. I just keep drinking and keep drinking and keep drinking. I've even been to NA and AA in the past, but I kept that all to myself. Most of my actual friends really had no idea of the extent of my problem. Now, during my last stint of sobriety, I had managed to sort my life out and build a personal training business. Sadly, I relapsed and nine months later, I had destroyed absolutely everything I built while sober. My business collapsed. I got a job in London in recruitment for six weeks and quit. I tried to start personal training in London, but couldn't hack it. And I had to move back to Oxford to stay at my friend's room whilst he was on holiday. Every morning would be the same. I'd wake up hungover and regret the money that I'd wasted the text that I'd sent, and I just wondered how I could escape this vicious cycle. Whilst I was in Oxford, I started working in a restaurant again, and still the drinking continued. It was like going back in time. Every night I'd get paid and go straight to the bar. Now one night after way too many drinks, I fell asleep at the later hours of the following morning. After waking up that morning, I was a broken man. I was truly broken, financially, spiritually, physically, I looked like shit and pff, I was shit. I realized that I had to change everything. I could not keep going on like this. Without sounding like a narcissistic douche, I always knew deep down that I was meant for something special in this world. The one thing holding me back was alcohol. It had to go. This was it. I packed in the drinking and managed to transition out of the restaurant and get my foot back into a gym as a personal trainer once again. I started to put it in the work, you know, big time. I was in the gym 10, 12 hours per day, talking to people and just getting my name out there. I ended up getting something around 20 clients after 12 weeks and I was making some pretty good profit. I was learning more and more about business and coaching and I was feeling pretty amazing. I felt like I'd been given almost a new lease on life. You could say I almost felt superhuman. With the alcohol gone, I really felt like I could actually achieve anything. See, me personally, I'm like two totally different people when I drink. It's the only thing that really holds me back. Anyway, after getting into a good place in the gym, I realized I could do anything. One of my dreams had always been to move to Asia and work online, and now I had gotten rid of the alcohol, I realized that I could truly do it. I started taking some courses on online fitness coaching and marketing, and I met a guy online who said I could do some SEO writing for him for a guaranteed wage. His name was Dan, and he taught me how to write, and I knew that I could pull it off. So screw it, I booked my flight over to Chiang Mai in Thailand. Now I also had a few clients for online fitness coaching, and I started the journey. I arrived in Chiang Mai and had an excellent first month. I met some great people, I met my now girlfriend, and I had a productive time. Whilst in Chiang Mai, I contacted an old friend of mine who once asked me to run his company's YouTube channel. I had some experience with videos, so figured I could give it a shot. Lo and behold, he was fortunately still looking for someone. We started doing a few videos that month and it went really well. I continued with my online fitness coaching and was starting to develop an excellent skill video. The next month, I decided to head over to Bangkok. Whilst in Bangkok, I was a little less productive, but still had a fantastic time. It was so surreal. Just a few months ago, I was totally broken, and after committing myself to sobriety and self-improvement, my life was slowly getting better. After Bangkok, I spoke with the company founder who I was creating videos for. I was thoroughly enjoying the video work, and I wanted to improve my skills further and push their YouTube channel harder. So I took a few courses on YouTube and headed over to Bali to work with the founder for a month. We produced 40 videos and learned a ton about YouTube videos and marketing. After this excellent month in Bali, which was extremely productive, I flew to Italy to spend some time with two of my best friends, Chris and David. We did a road trip from Milan to Sicily, stayed a few days in Sicily and then drove all the way back to Milan. It was an epic adventure and a once in a lifetime trip. We also managed to stop in uh, Pisa and Rome on the way too. Now, 
After this, I basically stopped the online fitness coaching to commit to videos. I went back to England to spend some time with my family and further develop my videography and editing skills. I invested in some new gear and learned how to do some basic motion graphics and different styles of editing. After this, I booked another flight back to Chiang Mai as I had nothing but fond memories of this place. Whilst in Chiang Mai, I've just focused on getting more and more skilled at YouTube and video, investing more equipment and continually aiming to get 1% better each day. The YouTube channel I was working on started doing well. We created some excellent sales videos and everything was kind of spiraling upwards. These days, most of my time is spent either working or traveling around Northern Thailand on my motorbike. Now, I want to show you what my sobriety looks like. When you get a good amount of sobriety under your belt, I truly believe dreams can come true. Now one of our friends May, who is Dan's wife, which was the guy that originally hired me to do the SEO writing, belongs to the Aka Hill tribe and we spent some time up there. This was totally surreal. It's a beautiful area in the mountains of northern Thailand. We've been to some epic waterfalls just outside of Chiang Mai and the best one was Thi La Su, which uh, I actually managed to fly the drone out there, which was really fun. We went to a beautiful temple called Doi Inthanon, or Doi Inthanon, I'm not sure. And whilst there, we also stayed with some rice patties and we helped the farmers out and just had a good laugh. We've been to Chiang Rai, Mei Sai, and I also went on an amazing motorbike trip to a place called Pai for my best friend's 40th birthday. We had an amazing time and all my closest friends were there. And now I've actually been writing the script for this video in a place called Hoi Hin. I'm obviously home now, but that was another spot that we went to. Now this has truly been the best year of my life. I'm serious, if you had met me back when I was drinking, you would not recognize who I am now. By committing to continual self-improvement and getting alcohol out of my life, my life is truly exploding. I don't say that to brag, I say it to give you a message. A sober life is truly worth it. Getting sober is the best thing that ever happened to me. Alcohol is the one thing that consistently robbed me of everything. My health, my finances, my confidence, my energy and my happiness. Alcohol literally destroyed all of it. Getting sober was the best thing that ever happened to me. It truly is worth it.